What is up, guys? I'm Zoff. I'm Rob. I'm Bryce. And this is Real Time. Today, we've got a very special video for you guys. As you can see, um, we all look like our normal selves today. So, uh, no, but we're actually dressed up for Halloween. We're watching a scary movie for you guys today. And we're watching The Strangers. So, it is pretty spooky. We're excited. We're excited to be dressed up. We all love the Halloween festivities and uh, whatnot. So, we're very pumped. But yeah, we're going to watch The Strangers today, and um, you guys will be watching this on Halloween, hopefully. Yeah, The Strangers has been a very highly requested horror movie for a while over on our Patreon in the comments. Like, I know people are always, because I think, I think specifically me, I'm always like, I like doing horror, but we're, it's just never a scary movie. And everyone's yeah. like, well, if you want a scary movie, watch do, The Strangers. Do The Strangers. Yeah. So I'm excited. Um, I don't handle horror too well. So I'm excited to see how this is. The only thing I know that we've talked about, I think, is that it's like a home invasion. Yeah. Which we just moved in together. So it's not a good uh, fear to unlock here. So I don't know. <laughs> but um, yeah, to touch a little bit on our costumes, I'm a clown. Uh, I'm, I'm Argyle from Stranger Things. And I am <laughs> Zenitsu from Demon Slayer. Let us know in the comments who uh, your favorite outfit is, guys. And comment down below what you guys dressed up as for Halloween as well. Yeah. I have seen this movie, The Strangers. I've seen it a very long time ago, so I don't really know much about anything, really. I couldn't tell you what happens in the end or whatnot. It'll probably come back, though. Yeah, it might come back. I don't even, like, I think it was one of those movies I watched when I was, like, on my phone and really didn't watch it. So, we'll see how it is. I'm, I'm really excited. I know it's very spooky. I've been wanting to watch this movie for a while. Like Bryce said, whenever horror wins on our genre pulls, it's almost never really a super, like, scary, scary movie. So, um, like you guys have been saying, this one is supposed to be freaky. I'm excited. Uh, I'm almost always more scared of, like, real-life scenarios like a home invasion rather than like a demon or a ghost or something like that so this one will probably uh freak me out pretty bad but yeah like i said I've, I've been wanting to watch this for a while i'm surprised i've never seen it honestly but yeah i'm looking forward to it for sure the only actor that i recognize in this when looking it up is i don't even know his name but it's actually the first show we ever watch on our channel you season three and it is Theo's dad, the neighbor dad, um, I don't know his character name in that I forget, or his actor name, but I just, I, I knew I knew his face, so I had to look it up, so that's the only actor I know from this, I, I didn't recognize Is he anyone like a big else. character? No idea. In this, he was the second listed character, so, but from what, what I've seen from the movie posters, there's a lot of mask wearing in this, so I don't know if we're gonna actually see people too often, so. All right, guys, with all that being said, we're going to go right into this The Strangers movie. And make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Over 81% of you guys are not subscribed. So if you could hit that button, it means the absolute world to us. Our first link is going to be the Patreon. We do all of our uncut videos over there as well as some early access. And we are dropping this Halloween movie on the 31st. So if you want to see all of our early access movies, you can see them prior till they go on the YouTube channel. So this will be up on Halloween on the 31st. So make sure you uh, check that out. Our second link is going to be the Discord. Come talk about the movies and TV shows we do. We got a great community over there. And lastly, follow our social medias, our Instagrams and Twitters, and send us some stuff to the address at the very bottom description. That is our PO box. We do mail time on the channel, and you guys send all that stuff behind us, and we open it up on video. So make sure you check that out. And yeah, we're going to go right into The Strangers. Let's do this. What you are about to see is inspired by true events. Is that real? I have no idea. I mean, I don't know. Kristen McKay and James Hoyt left a friend's wedding reception and returned to the Hoyt family's summer home. The brutal events that took place there are still not entirely known. Oh boy. What kind of brutal events took place? Is this true? Event? Hell no, it's a true events. It got me a little worried now. What's your name? Jordan. What the hell? Oh no. Is this the house? Yeah. These two boys found it. Jordan, Jordan, calm down. Jordan, what happened? Oh my gosh, dude. What did they find? The strangers. There he is. You recognize him, Zuff? I think so. He was the jealous neighbor dad. Yeah. Why is she crying? What happened? They left a wedding reception? Wonder if they were like arguing or something. Oh. 
So are they just going to walk into a house of just like people already in there? I don't think. They think they're going to come in the middle of the night. Yeah, it doesn't seem like they're uh, <laughs> on good terms. On very good terms, yeah. So he set up a nice little, <clears throat> nice little thing. Probably not expecting they were gonna get in some argument or whatever. I don't know. What happened, dude? Why is it like? It doesn't seem like that bad. There's so. I mean, there's like obvious yeah, some weird something. tension there, and she was crying in the car. Seems like it's definitely his fault, though, right? That's what I'm getting. She's like mad at him. I'm gonna need you tonight and get me. Uh, just whenever you wake up in the morning, I'm gonna give you a card. Just call me when you get this, okay? Okay. What? He's having his friend get him in the morning? I think they broke up or something. Like, I think it's over. You're a jerk. What went so wrong here? Seems like they're having a great time. Oh. He proposed. You think this was it? Yeah, it has to be. Look at her. Did she say no? Must have. I'm pretty sure it showed that uh, box, that ring box at the beginning as well. Yeah. Like when the kids stumbled upon this place. Ice cream. Yeah, she said no. I mean, I guess that can cause some awkwardness, huh? That'd be pretty bad. Why'd she say no? I don't know. Didn't didn't want to marry him. I want you to know. I love you. I'm just not ready yet. Doesn't want to get married yet. Yeah, I don't think they're actually broken up yet. I think it's just very awkward. You are my girl. This dude's about to get his heart broken. And killed in the same night. Okay, I think we're good now. They just, she just doesn't want to marry him. Oh no! What is it like four in the morning? Four oh five to be exact. There. James, is that his name? Yeah. If he opens this door and it's those like, just a bunch of people, I'm gonna. Lady? Hello. Why can't we see her face? The light won't turn on. Is Tanya here? No. I'm going to get the wrong house. You sure? Yeah. I'm sorry. I don't like how I can't see her face, dude. It, look, it looks like she just has a normal face, though. I can't see it. You can see her eyes. What? <laughs> Okay, bye. Oh, that's so weird. I have a secret. I love you so much. I didn't I didn't mean that. All right, I want it back. I got one anyway. Let me light you a fire. Oh, don't leave her here, man. I don't know if he's going to get to leave. It just feels so awkward. It was getting like better there, and then yeah, it just got, got back to interrupted by the stranger. Is Tamara here? Fuck no. I don't know who the fuck Tamara is. Just continues to drink the champagne or whatever. He's like, I want to go drive for a bit. <laughs> he is leaving. Okay. Fuck, dude. Turn your lights on. I don't like that she's by herself at all. She's probably gonna get another knock on the door. She's putting on her ring, dude. And she's uh, just trying it on. I know. She's playing with it, I think. Probably such a tough thing to say no. I know, to yeah. I feel like I'm the type of person I'd say yes, even if I wanted to say no and just figure it out later. Like if we're in like a place like that, like a wedding. 
Like, yeah. all right, let's just talk about it later. Oh, fuck no. One knock. That can't be a good sign. I just feel like she's going to open the door one of these times and it's going to be a group of people and I'm going to freak the hell out. It was just one knock. I'm, one really... I'm, oh. I'm never opening a one knock. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. What are you going to open up? Boom, 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 boom. Boom, boom. Yeah, then you know it's like a friendly old lady or something. Okay, now they got a little friend there. Is Karma home? Oh. You already came by here. Are you sure? He said the same exact two things. What's the... Oh, did she just lock it? I thought she was unlocking it. Oh, my God. Bro. I feel like this Tamra person, if it's a real person, is already in here. Or yeah, something. yeah, that's why she keeps saying, are you sure? <laughs> I'm so I, on I, edge. I saw you hit one of these. <laughs> I'm on edge, bro. Mr. Mada home. I'm not. Are you sure? I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan of this right now. They're just fucking slamming on the door. I feel like if they wanted to come in though, they would. Please answer, James. Is his phone here? Oh I, no. I know there's more than one of them. I'm just I don't I, I wanna know how many there are. I feel like there's like five, dude. Oh, Maybe not that many, but it might just be two. That girl came back. That girl, I mean, she she keeps knocking on the door. She doesn't want you to come home, okay? No, I'm fine, but just, you know, hurry. How far away are you? I'd be so fucking scared if I was her, dude. Will you just stay on the phone with me? James? What? Oh, someone cut the fucking phone the phone line. Oh my fucking god, dude. I was waiting for it. That's fucked up. Oh no. There's someone in there. They're just staring at her. That's crazy. Bro, this this oh, that there's that is that is not it. He's gone. They're gone. They're gone. Might be a yeah. It might be Tamara or the girl that was knocking. James, grab a knife. James wouldn't knock. Ah, oh, she's not gonna know when James is here. I got a weird feeling next time she sees James, she might be dead, bro. I don't know. Arm yourself. I like that. Get that knife. There was someone in the house? Yeah. That is all I can. Might be Tamara. Yeah, I mean, that girl kept saying, are you sure Tamara's not there? Well, it looks like fucking Tamara's in the house. Gonna be around the corner or something. This is gonna be bad. This is gonna be bad. I think this is the turning point of the movie here. Did she put that there? No. Someone moved that. What was that? I don't the, know. It was like a, a wire that was cut? I think that was the phone cable. Don't. Don't. What is behind that curtain, dude? Oh, that's a fucking person with a bag on their face. Oh, God. That looked like the person that was inside the house, though. I think they have the same masks on. I'd kick that shit. Yeah, dude, I would literally be drop kicking that door closed. Wouldn't be looking out it for sure. Mm oh, that's a different mask. Okay. Mm 
No. No, don't do this. Don't do this, Kristen. How many? How many fucking people are out there, dude? That music, too. What did she just do? What the fuck? You just cut your foot? James? How the hell did he get in here scotch free? Not hearing they, anything? They, and they probably backed off when he was coming in. These people are freaks, bro. Jesus Christ, that scared me. <laughs> Shower curtain. Cell phone. A melting cell phone. Yeah, whoa. Oh, fuck no. I'm gonna put my phone in the car. I'm gonna go get it. You can't go out there. Why? One of them came in here and took my phone. Chris, I normally take it and try. Oh, and she's fucking gone, dude. How fast? What? They like Michael Myers teleportation. Oh, shit. That was the car in the beginning. The hole in the wall, the hole in the windshield, yeah, like like the heart or whatever. Yeah. Like I don't know. How this is one of those like horror movies where I'm like, no one would actually do this. She wouldn't just stay in there by herself. You know what I'm saying? Like, I guess I don't know. You know someone's been in there. Shit's been moved. Why would you let him go out? Yeah, definitely play it. Oh, oh. that's a fucking hand. Okay, that's her. <laughs> Huh? Are they ghosts? Mm -hmm. ah. What? Is that a gunshot? Oh, the dog. The dog yelping. It might be ghosts. <laughs> nope. No, that's just a person. It's a very fast person. Kristen, go. He needs to turn into Homelander right now. These are the fastest people ever. You think quiet. <laughs> I feel like I'm sort of surprised that this guy doesn't have like a gun somewhere in his summer home. Yeah. I saw the shotgun at the beginning. Oh, that's true. There was a shotgun. Did he have it there or did someone bring it? It was just in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm wondering. Oh my God. You good, bro? Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> Why would she grab him like that? Why would he go him backwards? I'm afraid that one of them is gonna hurt each other, like on accident. She already hurt her hand, kinda. I mean, like, I feel like someone's gonna get mistaken for one of the people. Took the battery out of his phone. There's someone in the house, dude. Someone in the house. You believe her now? How is this guy? The person in the house is sly. Where the car doesn't work, right? I have no clue. <clears throat> well, we know everything happens in the house, so they're gonna get back in the house somehow, right? Have to. Who is that? No. Oh, bro. There's, I think there was two people in there. Oh, oh dude, there's. They are so fucked, bro. They are so fucked right now. No car. Now they're back at the house. Does your dad have a gun? Kristen, I'm looking. There's one here when I was a kid. He always hit it. There it is. Shotgun, baby. We have ammunition. Hello. That all it says, hello? Yeah. Hello, hello, hello. In red. In like lipstick and the curtains are pulled out. They weren't pulled out before. What was that? 
What is that? How do I use this thing? What do you mean? I'm not sure I even know how to load it. Oh, Jesus, dude. I open the door and I just want you to run, okay? Oh, shit. Oh, dude, I'd be losing my fucking mind right now. I mean, I feel like it's not... I. It'd be pretty easy to manage to know how to load a shotgun, right? So it wasn't, like, put together. I don't know. Just three Good chair. One. Really got him with that one, huh? Ooh. Oh, we got one. Let's see if they keep coming, then. Can you imagine? He's like... All right, guys, if, if she says no to my pr proposal, <laughs> come to the house and start acting crazy, and I'm yeah. going to save her. Dude, these people literally are the slowest people to invade a house. I know they're just fucking with them, though. But, like, realistically, they'd be in by now, huh? Wouldn't even have had they, time I mean, to... if they wanted to get in, I feel like they could have gotten in by now. They just, like, fucking around. <laughs> yeah, they're, the door they're literally just fucking with these people. What if it's his friend? What if he kills his friend? I don't know what this is. Could be Mike. What's up, buddy? It's Mike. Listen, man, I'm outside. I, I got here early. Uh, I just decided to come out and, you know, just be here for you. Is that fucking uh, Dennis from It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia? Fucking foot. Never watched. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh my god, it is. <laughs> Mike's toast, bro. Yeah, I do not have a good feeling. I hope um James doesn't shoot him. Oh yeah, fuck. I don't remember anything about this. <laughs> oh. Where's that from? Where is she? Dude, I hope he doesn't get shot. Please say something, man. Don't pull up on announce on them. He's gonna pop you. Mmm. Okay. Mike? It's been a good run. Oh, dude. He's like an axe or something. Someone literally just behind. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. Saw that one. Ah, God. Oh, no. Did he shoot him in the face? I mean, he's dead. The shotgun, too. He shot him probably uh, everywhere. That's Mike, your best friend. That's so fucked up. Poor Mike. Oh. How about we load that gun back up, though, huh? These these people are literally just fucking with them, dude. That guy could have axed Mike at any point, but he let him do this. Oh. He just slipped on Mike's brain. Ugh. Ugh. I think he's just going to go for it now, bro. Fuck I mean, it. at this point, you have to. Come on. There's an old radio out in the park. I'm, I'm going to try and call for help. I don't know what else to do. It's okay. I'm going to come right back for you. Oh. What does that say? Killer. Dude, what if the, somehow they just do all this and it just ends up that James just gets framed for killing Mike? I don't know. Just from the beginning, like, seems like those kids were the first ones to find. I don't know. I don't think. It's true. Yeah. I kind of forgot about the beginning scene. Shoot that motherfucker, dude. Please tell me you got him, James. Like, I was sprinting at him. It's 
fucking dude, bro. Isn't that the one that was running at James? I think so. Is James dead? What the fuck was that? Oh, did she like fall into a hole or something? What happened? I think she fell into a hole. No. Bro, where do they go? I don't get it. They're obviously like not really trying to just straight up kill them or else the movie would have been over. They could do it a million times over. She's gonna find James dead or something, bro. Yeah, I don't think James is doing too well right now. What are they doing to this place? What are they doing? It's like they're building a car or something. Mask girl. Great. Not killing Harry, just killing the radio? Yeah. That's what I mean. It's, they don't want to kill them, I don't think. They just want to fuck with them. Like, ruin their lives. James might be alive. I think there's only two people. Is there? Right? Her and... I thought there was one. Nope. Oh, there's three. One of the girls is Tamara. Probably. He's crawling in the What's middle. What's burning? Just the whole barn? Car. James is in it. I forgot she fucked her like ankle up or something. Oh, well, that's Mike, okay. <laughs> no, it's just Mike's dead body. <laughs> We're good. All right, now all the power is out. Have fun. Okay, now it's just like nightmare fuel. Didn't look that way, huh? He knows she's there, I feel like. Make her think she's like safe. Loud as fuck, dude. There's just, there's still two other people. Oh, oh. Coming right for ya. So spooky. I hope we get to see what they look like, dude. Ice cream hasn't melted. <laughs> it's just like, why wouldn't he check that closet? You know what I mean? He knows that she's in there. Yeah. I think he just looked at it. He goes, I know you're there. <laughs> Yep, they were just fucking with her. Did she just walk away? Yeah. She was trying too hard. They are like, alright, chill out, yeah. Much smaller knife. Still a knife, though. James? Yeah, has to be. And mm. this guy has the shotgun. Look what I found. Gonna die. Is that the girl? Oh. I think it's like a mom, a father, and a daughter, huh? <laughs> Oh, 
this point, she's like, fuck it, James is dead. Okay. Alright, and he knocked her out. Holy shit. What are they gonna do now? Yeah, this is where the bad parts happen, I think. Why was it so bloody when the kids showed up other than Mike? Which, to be fair, was quite a lot of blood. Yeah. Ugh. What did they do to them? <laughs> what are we doing here, guys? What was the point of all this? Why are you doing this to us? Because you were home. Wow. That's it. Because you guys were here. Please take their masks off. I, I want to see. She's wearing it. He's like a good looking dude under that one mask. <laughs> Show me. Show me. It can't be anybody that we know, right? Like, like, no, we don't know anyone else. You don't have to do it. You can stop now. You... <laughs> oh, they show their faces so they know they have to die. Yep. Stabbed him in the belly. Okay. Stabbed him right in the belly. Multiple times, uh -oh. looks like. Oh. Show me what they look like. Oh, that girl went slow. <laughs> Ew, my body hurts right now. Oh. Oh, they're fucked. They're fucked. They're both dead. Looks just like a normal girl. I don't want to see them. She's still breathing. Really? Oh, his cell phone. How could she move? Oh, it's gotta be painful. I feel it in it's, my stomach. Yeah, dude, that's what I mean. Like, his stab wounds in her stomach. They leave by now, you think? What? Well, that shit doesn't look like a real person uh -huh. laying on the ground, huh? Yeah, what? It looks like a doll. It is. It has to be. <laughs> Oh, they're still here. They're still here. They're still here. I want to see them. I don't think we're going to get to. Do I have one? Are you a sinner? Yeah. Big time. Big time sinners here. Big crack on the windshield, it looks like. It'll be easier next time. We just have the serial killer trio over there, or what? She's still breathing or no? If I was a little kid, I would not be fucking doing it. So that was The Strangers, guys. That was a horror movie uh, for Halloween. It had definitely, uh, we felt the horror there. I mean, I don't think it was specifically made to be a Halloween movie. I'm just doing a scary movie for you guys, but it definitely was scary. I think the guy in the mask was for sure the scariest. He was- Yeah, the guy with the bag on his yeah. head? Dude. He was spooking me out. I didn't like that at all. Yeah, it, it was just freaky. Just the whole concept of just like, this could have happened to anybody. And I feel like uh, they kind of said that whenever she asked what, like, why did you do this to us? Why are you doing this to us? And all they said was, because you were home. You were actually here. Like. I genuinely think that they weren't targeted at all or anything. It was quite literally that they were just looking for someone to do this to and these people were home and that's it. Which is even more terrifying to be honest because like that just Seriously. solidifies the point that it could happen to anybody. I feel like um, it they were an easier target though because they were quite literally in the middle of nowhere. 
I don't think it could happen to someone like like that like in depth to someone like in a city apartment like it's not gonna happen there's just too many neighbors you know but that house was definitely an easy easy target yeah it was like pretty creepy how they, i mean like i said they could have killed them like t- a thousand times over and they just were playing with them like i don't know they're playing with their food they just like had so much i don't know how they had so much confidence to like do that and like have the door and windows open during the day like <laughs> i don't know they just like let them wake up and shit it was just like they really were just playing around to be honest like you could tell they probably have done this before they were pretty good at what they did i mean they i don't know i'd like to see a behind the scenes movie on or scenes of just them and how fast these fuckers move because they <laughs> yeah. were out of every scene in 2.2 like i don't know like you said, Rob, they were playing with their food and they got some extras with Mike. I feel uh, bad for him. But he, Mike's whole death kind of led me to believe that they weren't planning on killing yeah. people. Because I feel like the dude literally could have killed Mike, but he let James do it himself. So part of me thought that they weren't actually going to kill him in the end. They were going to let like each other do that accidentally. But they ended up stabbing him a bunch at the I end I feel there. bad for Mike. I mean, I feel bad for all of them, especially Jamie. He got denied and then killed. It seemed like at the end, at least, like she had the ring on. She was like, "Looks like she's alive." Yeah, Yeah. (laughs) looks like she's alive at the end. That was crazy. I think, I think, um, at the end when they have them tied up there, that they took their masks off just to see, like, oh, you see your, you see our faces now, so we're gonna kill you. I wish we got to see their faces, yeah, to be honest. Yeah. Like, I'm honestly really glad that we didn't get to see the faces, because it just, like, that's the goes stranger. with the names. Yeah, they're strangers. You don't know who they are. It literally could be anybody. It's a total stranger. Yeah, I actually did like that. I know the whole time you're like, I want to see the face, I want to see the face. But I just feel like it would have taken away from the the weirdness and, like, the... I don't know. Just I feel like... Like, we didn't know any other characters, so revealing their faces, I feel like, wouldn't have added anything than just, like, that's what they look like. But I agree. I, I wanted to know what they looked like. Like, I was craving it, but I I like the, the choice to keep their faces hidden. I think right. it's smart. If you do enjoy our videos, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. I hope you enjoyed this Halloween special. This was The Strangers. We also have another one out, um, Wendell and Wild. So make sure you check that one out too. But yeah, the first link is going to be the Patreon. We do all of our uncut videos over there as well as some early access. Second link is going to be the Discord. Come talk The Strangers with us and Wendell and Wild and all the other movies we do. We got a great community over there. And lastly, follow our social medias, our Instagrams and Twitters. And send some stuff to the address at the very bottom description. That is our P.O. box. We got a bunch of stuff that you sent us right behind us we do open the stuff you send us on mail time that's on our channel so check that out and yeah we'll catch you guys in the next movie we do or the next show until then peace out happy halloween